Good evening, I'm Helen of Troy. And I'm Butch Cassidy. And this is Slow News Day. Where slow news is good news. Asparagus, healthy snack or silent killer? Scientists say healthy snack. Could your oven be a deadly menace? We sent a reporter out into the field to find out. People say these ovens are dangerous. I'm gonna check it out. I don't see anything dangerous in here, but I'll keep looking till I find something. Back to you. Thanks, Ross. Humans have been sleeping for years, but recent studies show that being asleep may put you at greater risk of being robbed, murdered, or even having your hand placed in warm water with embarrassing results. And now, here's Liron Shapira, consumer literalist with an investigative report. Liron? In and out is all the rage on campus. I'm going to go in and out of in and out And another scissors. I mean news. Why did D you say scissors? I can't keep scissors off my mind ever since my wife bought me these beauties. They'll cut through anything. Oh. I wouldn't want to be that carrot. Does this cloud look like a bunny rabbit? Mm, now that you mention it, yeah, it does kind of. There you have it. On a sadder note, Irvine residents have reported that stray cats are being picked up by roving animal catchers who sell these lovable cuddle balls to cosmetics laboratories for testing. Is there any truth to these claims? I went undercover to find out. I figured if I wanted to get picked up by Irvine Animal Control, I would have to look like a cat, eat like a cat, move like a cat, and think like a cat. But try as I might, I couldn't get myself abducted. I walk the streets for five hours, and no animal catchers in sight. It looks like this is one rumor that's strictly for the dogs. <laughs> Thanks, me. Newscasters who forget to wear their pants. Tired cliché or hilarious sight gag? Self-referential humor, hybrid hilarity, or totally going over our audience's heads? Cricket sound effects after a failed joke. Graceful save or pathetic attempt to save a failed bit? In other news, UCI's third annual 24-hour Mad Film Dash is well underway. Here's Daniel Finlay reporting. Down here at the UC Irvine Computer Store, the 24-hour Mad Film Dash has students of all walks of life filming their exciting new projects. Right here we've got a film that seems to be some kind of action heist. And we've got a guy on a hey, computer. Hey, what's up, Clark and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, over there there's a guy that looks to be some sort of gangster. And uh, this yeah, guy is the perfect some time sort of walk into the scene, walk into the dude's action. Some sort of character so who wears socks with his sandals. Thank you so much for walking look at, into look our Look at these shot. sandals, you such dicks. Just don't um, reference our movie. That this is that movie. That okay, what's your team name? Um, uh, Blaze. Team Blaze. Team Blaze. Yes. Uh, that would be a reference to uh, um, uh, marijuana. Marijuana? No. <laughs> Here we've got a romantic literary comedy about two lovers who just love the same kind of book. It brings them together. In this case, you know, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Of course, a classic. Well, best of luck to you, and stay young forever. I won't grow up. This is Daniel Finlay. Thanks, Dan. That's all we have for today's show, but here are some of the pieces we're working on for tomorrow. How big is our travel budget anyway? We sent one reporter to India to find out. Is God dead? Our answer may surprise you. All this and more tomorrow on Slow News Day. Slow news is good news. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.